Good evening, boxing world, and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Bout Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments section, and I promise to honor your request. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell notification. The fight that I'll be bringing to you in this video comes by way of request, and it is coming from Stephen McBroom. I thank you for your request, and I thank you for participating in the channel. The fight that he mentioned is Felix Tito Trinidad versus Errol the Truth Spence. What a great welterweight matchup. Um, let's start with Felix Tito Trinidad. I mean, his resume is unmatched. He has fought everybody that is anybody, okay? From Oscar De La Hoya to Sweet Pea Pernell Whitaker. I mean, just to name a few. So, um, and Tito had one of the best left hooks ever, if not the best. I mean, everything he touched you with was with power. And so, um, all of Tito's punches had pop to them. He threw punches from every angle, left hooks, straight right hands, power jab, uppercut. And if Tito caught you sleeping at the wheel, I mean, he was taking you out. I mean, he was very alert and aware in the ring. And so, um, I mean, Felix Tito Trinidad was no joke. And I really don't have to tell you that, okay? Arrow, the truth, Spence. One of my favorite fighters. I'll be quite honest with you. I have a particular bias towards him. But when I'm making these videos, I try to be as objective as I possibly can. So bear with me. Um, but as far as Spence, I mean, has a good, long jab. Um, he himself throws everything with power. Um, concentrated body attack. And um, he knows how to control the distance and keep you at the end of that jab. Um, great power jab. And just, he himself just throws punches from every angle. Um, it can be argued that he's been untested, but I'd have to respectfully disagree with that because he's been in there with the likes of um, Kell Brook. And he was the first welterweight to defeat Kell Brook. Um, he basically ended Lamont Peterson's career. Um, I, I, I feel that he was tested against Sean Porter. Um, Sean Porter was a top welterweight and, and Spence will get criticized for that fight, but he was in there with, with one of the best welterweights. So I wasn't surprised that Porter gave him a fight, but Spence passed the test. He stood in there, he traded, he fought Porter's fight, he scored a knockdown. And so um, I will say that he beat Porter at his own game. Um, so with all due respect, the criticism is ridiculous. Um, he stood in there with one of the one of the toughest welterweights of today. And so um, at the end of the day, he won the fight. And a win is a win. A win is a win. So um, now I will say that as great as Tito was, um, Felix Trinidad struggled against technically sound fighters, which explains his losses to Bernard Hopkins, Ronald Winky Wright, and um, Roy Jones Jr. So as great as he was, um, I mean, and, and that's a fact. Um, that's no disrespect to him. Um, so I see Errol Spence Jr. giving him trouble with his jab, keeping him off balance with his jab, um, covering up when Tito attacks, and then when Tito is done with his attacks, um, coming back with his counterattack. And so... Um, Errol Spence's style is definitely one of those styles that gave Felix Tito Trinidad trouble. And so, I mean, the truest saying in boxing, styles makes fights. You can be the best fighter in the world and get in there with the worst fighter in the world with the wrong style for you. And, and that's just how it goes. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. Styles makes fights. And this is one of those fights that I see Tito struggling with um, stylistically. Um, so with that being said, um, I have to go with Errol Spence Jr. by a unanimous decision. I mean, Spence is just awkward. 
I mean, he, I suspect he hits as hard as Trinidad. Um, you all may disagree, but I'm, I'm just giving you my opinion. And so um, I think the awkwardness of Spence, and not to mention the southpaw, advantage for Spence. Um, I think Tito would be in for a long night and would lose this by a unanimous decision. And so um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next video.